Pablo Escobar was the drug lord of Colombia, he was referred to as the king of cocaine. He had a humble begging, born to a poor Colombian farmer. At 35 years he became very wealthy from drug trafficking in the 70s. By collaborating with other criminals he formed the Medellin cartel and subsequently became the leader. Escobar married 15-year-old Maria Victoria Heno in 1976, the couple had two children together, a son, Juan Pablo, and a daughter, Manuela. Welcome to Luxury Living. Top 10 Facts About Pablo Escobar 1. Pablo Escobar came from a modest family. His father worked as a peasant farmer while his mother was a schoolteacher. From an early age, Escobar had a unique ambition to raise himself up from his humble beginnings. He was born in Rio Negro, Colombia in 1949 and established a drug cartel in Medellin in the 1970s. 2. At the peak of his career Escobar was said to be the seventh richest person on the planet. His wealth catapulted him into the Forbes list of global billionaires for seven years. 3. Rumors of Escobar's hidden fortunes have circulated in Medellin since his death. His nephew was said to have found a plastic bag with money worth $18 million hidden in the wall of one of his uncle's houses, he had also found a typewriter, satellite phones, a gold pen, a camera, and a film roll. 4. His humble roots made him popular among some Colombians. He was able to cultivate their support by giving out large sums of money and investing in poor neighborhoods in Medellin. 5. At its most active, the gang supplied an estimated 80% of the cocaine smuggled into the United States. More than 15 tons were reportedly smuggled each day, netting the Medellin cartel as much as $420 million a week. 6. While on the run, he was said to have burnt $2 million to keep his daughter warm. After the US issued an extradition order, Escobar resisted capture, and his gang targeted politicians, the police, and journalists. 7. Escobar was arrested in 1991. After he was arrested in 1991, Escobar was housed in a prison of his own design, nicknamed the Cathedral, where he continued to oversee the Medellin cartel. 8. When he realized that he had no shot at becoming Colombia's president, and with the United States pushing for his capture and extradition, Escobar unleashed his fury on his enemies in the hopes of influencing Colombian politics. His goal was a no extradition clause and amnesty for drug barons in exchange for giving up the trade. He spent decades waging war against the Colombian state to prevent his extradition to the United States, he is thought to be responsible for some 4,000 deaths. 9. Escobar owned a number of palatial homes, but his most notable property was the 7,000-acre estate known as Hacienda Napoles, located between Bogotá and Medellín. Reportedly costing $63 million, it included a soccer field, dinosaur statues, artificial lakes, a bullfighting arena, the charred remains of a classic car collection destroyed by a rival cartel, an airstrip, a tennis court, and a zoo. The estate, the front gate of which is topped by the plane he used on his first drug run to the US, was later looted by locals, and it is now a popular tourist attraction. 10. Manhunt. After his escape, the Colombian government reportedly aided by U.S. officials and rival drug traffickers, launched a massive manhunt. On December 2, 1993, Escobar celebrated his 44th birthday, allegedly enjoying cake, wine, and marijuana. The next day, his hideout in Medellin was discovered. While Colombian forces stormed the building, Escobar and a bodyguard managed to get to the roof. A chase and gunfight ensued, and Escobar was fatally shot. Some, however, have speculated that Escobar took his own life. The drug lord, who faced possible extradition to the US if arrested, had once said that he would rather have a grave in Colombia than a jail cell in the US. Thanks for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe to our channel.